Welcome into the Pioneer pregame show. My name is Gino Ganella, alongside former Pioneers defensive back to Mark Wilson. To Mark, Pioneers are off to a hot start this season, specifically in conference. Rolling, baby. 3-0 and already, looking to go 4-0 and today. They've been playing real good football so far. Yeah, they have. It's just confidence, just getting, they're getting out at the right time. And I had a feeling it would happen. You know, once you're in conference play, it's a different mindset, different game. And you lock in because that's the goal is to win the conference. And you lock in, you want to win those games. So they're just playing great ball. They're, just, they're clicking, they're in sync. It's great football to watch. Yeah, absolutely. And specifically on offense, they've been in sync. And a big part of that has been their run game. Jordan Meacham rushing for 318 yards last yeah. week. Unbelievable game. How has he been ex so explosive and what does he mean to this offense this year? Well, it's the same thing I said about Kevin Duke a couple weeks ago. It's, it's years in the making. It's work in progress. You know, he's, he's been here a few years now. He knows what to expect. The game is slowing down for him. And they do a lot for him. They put him in space. They use him on jet motions a lot, jet sweeps. It's, he's kind of like him and uh, Chestnut. They're kind of like Alvin Kamara, Marvin Ingram kind of duo. They use Meacham in space. They like to get him the ball in open space. They want to give him those jet motions. He can even run between tackles, of course. And he just does a great job reading his blockers. And once he gets in, once he gets that open gap, it's over. It's a wrap. He explodes through the gap, and he's good at making people miss in the hole as well. So he's, he's hard to tackle one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and that's always good to have on your side of the ball. Yeah. Uh, but defensively, now moving to, the, to that side of the ball, last week, not great first half, but picked it up in the second half and really shut it down against Bryant. Yeah. What have been the keys defensively for Sacred Heart to allow them to be so uh, talented and, and just really stop the other team's offense. It's just the hunger. It's a mentality. It's a bend don't break mentality. You know, if you give up a play here, give up a play there, you bounce right back. You don't let them in the end zone. That's the main goal. If you let up a 40 yard run, okay, they get in the red zone, you lock down, and you make plays when you need to. You get to the quarterback, the linebackers move side to side, and they all run hard to the ball, and they all play for each other. They play together, and it's just fun. When you when it's when you're having fun, it's easy to play football. It all slows down, and it's it's just fun at that point. Yeah, and I'm sure the pioneers are having fun right now. Is yeah. there, you know. Like I said, 3-0 in conference and in a very good position right now yeah. to, to take the conference overall and win an NEC championship, which we haven't seen in a few years here at Sacred Heart, which is... Yeah, it's been a few years, which is way too long. Way it's too been long. way too long, way, yeah. Way too long for yeah. us here at Sacred Heart. We're, we're excited to be back in it this year. We got Robert Morris th uh, today. Yep. And despite them being 0-4 in conference, they're nothing to look past. So what do we have to do offensively and defensively to beat this Robert Morris team and take care of business? Well, offensively, it's kind of just do just what you've been doing. Um, and you never look overlook a conference team because conference is it's one game at a time. You don't want to lose that one game. So they're not going to overlook them. But offensively, you just keep doing what they're doing. You know, move the tackles, move the guards. You know, they pull them in wraps. Uh, Meacham reads off them well. Chestnut reads off them well. And they explode through that hole. They just have to keep winning at the line of scrimmage. That's the main thing. And then once they open up that run game, and you open up the pass game for O'Neal and Duke to do what they do best. And so that's pretty much where it starts with the run game. They just got to keep doing what they're doing, win the line of scrimmage, and it's, it's going to come. It's going to be it – should, it should be a relatively good game for the Pioneer run game. And then defensively, what do they have to do to stop – you know, they have a uh, – Robert Morris has a tight end mm -hmm. this year who's been very, very good for them. Yeah. Leads the league, I believe, in touchdowns. How do you stop a player like that defensively and keep them in check so that you get the ball back on offense and you keep scoring points. Well, first thing, of course, is getting to the quarterback, which I think the Pioneers do a good job of. You know, they have Agamong and everybody else. Uh, Coach Cook runs tremendous blitz packages. But the main, also the main thing, too, is the safeties and, and the linebackers have to be in sync when communicating what they're doing with that tight end. If you know the tight end, the tight end is their guy, take away the middle of the field. Make the quarterback throw to the outsides. That's when interceptions are going to happen. That's when he's going to have to hold on to the ball and sacks will happen. So I think they'll do a good job. Uh, Robert Morris also uses a lot of misdirection, a lot of jet sweep, a lot of what they call smoking mirrors to make your eyes go one way and then the tight end will come open the other way. You know, so it's little things like that, just alignment, assignment, discipline that they have to do and make sure that they don't let the, the quarterback's guy go. Because you let it get going, they'll get confidence and you don't want that. Yeah, and you know, got it. like you say, stay disciplined. That's yeah. one of the most important things that we talked about last time we were on the show here at the Pioneer pregame show when we played UPenn, just staying disciplined. Yeah. Just, working as a team and Pioneers have done a good job this year real quick before we head out give me a prediction for today's game I mean it, it should be a relatively good win and solid win for the Pioneers I think they get their run game going early and then I think Duke makes a couple big plays through the air O'Neal has another huge game he's the best receiver in the conference clearly and I think it's gonna be a big day for everybody they're gonna have a lot of fun um, actually a couple years back 
Uh, my true senior year, we actually had like nine turnovers, I think, in that game. I think it's going to be another one of those games for the Pioneers defensively, too. I think they're going to have a big game, a few sacks, sack fumbles here. I think it's going to be an all-around fun win for the Pioneers. Well, that's what we like to hear. That's what we want here at Sacred Heart. That's all the time we have for you here on the Pioneer pregame show. We have to take a quick break, but coming up after that break, we have the first half of Sacred Heart versus Robert Morris on NEC Front Row.